Good morning, family. How's everybody doing today? We hit the ground running this morning and there's a lot to do. It's like super duper hot outside today. This week, actually, we have a hot stretch. Is that right? be 100 tomorrow. I know you Southerners um, know how to deal with the heat, but here in Illinois, we don't know how to deal with it. It's hot. So we're hitting actual temperatures of in the you know low hundreds this week. Yes, we have to take care of everything outside, but it's actually a perfect opportunity to take care of the stuff that needs to needs to happen inside. So right now we are full blown in apple mode. <laughs> we had a farm friend drop off a ton of his apples from his apple tree, which is actually a huge blessing because our apple tree is not yet producing. The well, old ones yeah, the old are, one is, but our new ones aren't yet. Yeah. And so we are making everything apples. We are doing apple butter. You might make an apple crepe cake later. And some other things. Like you've already done like an apple crisp with it. So I'm just making apple butter right now. And then what else is on your agenda for the day? I need to cut some soaps and make some of my sugar scrub to put back onto our website and to stock in our farm shop. So that's what we were doing first thing this morning. Julianne, well, Anne Marie both have been making new items. Uh, to put in the farm shop and to restock on the website and they're so nice you guys can check those things out but um julianne made us some room spray here i'll show it to you you guys don't ever get to go into my bathroom <laughs> oh let's go look at it all right she made us this beautiful room spray here we go and it smells like pumpkin spice and it's so nice and like i said we already told you guys we're ushering in fall as fast as we can because <laughs> we all love it so much so she made um some sugar scrub some uh room spray of course all of these things are all natural what else bath salts i did the bath salts yeah i have like uh, lavender it's the lavender dreams bath salt yeah. and it smells so good and marie made pe pepper jelly which had the house smelling amazingly peppery yesterday so those things are getting stocked in the farm shop or online so go check it out those things you know this is what the girls do for the for a business so um, whatever awesome things we enjoy and love we share with all of you so you know that was on the agenda this week as well my house is about to smell amazing from the apple butter so we when these opportunities come up previously you know we harvest our own apples we harvest apples from friends' houses or customers' houses, but these awesome folks have been dropping off apples to us. So not only do we feed them to the animals if they're a little past their prime, but these are these are totally awesome and usable. They're just, I mean, of course you couldn't sell them in a store because they're not perfect, but they're perfect for us. And so we're gonna, um, Julianne has the counter set up here. We're gonna do double crock pot and get these going I mean, for a get that going for a long, a so long like, so time. Have, well, I feel like day. last time, didn't you do 24 hours? I don't think it was. I need, long. Long. <laughs> I need to look back. I need to look quite that long. I don't think. And I let that go for 24 hours. We can leave the recipe for our apple butter. I know many of you have tried out the recipe and you love it as much as we do. So we'll put our recipe for the apple butter down in the description. But also, if you want to check out the actual full video and how to do it start to finish. She put actual times on there. We can link that video in the description as well. Look at, this is what we have to deal with. She's sneaking. Enola, hi. She's you always to have to watch apple. her. <laughs> she likes playing with the apple peels. So anyway, we've got, um, apples are gonna be on the schedule for this hot temperature. We can pretend like it's not 100 degrees outside. We can just pretend like we're going into, you know, 60s and and beautiful fall color. So anyway, all right, enough talking. Let's get started. Uh, one thing we're going to do with all of these scraps, I don't know, do you guys use apple cider vinegar as much as we do? We use so much of it. And you know, it gets pricey to buy the good, like the better quality stuff, you know? So anyway, we're gonna take all these scraps and turn it, turn it into apple cider vinegar. We need to restock it. Cause we're, do we have any going right now or are we out? I might have like half a jar going, we're almost okay. out. Yeah, we're almost out. So we need to get some going so we can use it. It's the perfect time of year to kind of do all of those things because usually there's an ample supply of apple cores. I know that Jesse and Tabitha love juicing these apples with our juicer and then we keep all the pulp and scraps from that as well to either uh, give to the chickens, put into compost, or to turn into apple cider. So I agree, Jules, we need to put this together and get a big batch of apple cider vinegar going. We in 
enjoy apples so much. Not only do we love eating them fresh around here, but we love doing a couple different things to make sure that we have them supplied throughout the whole winter. One of the ways is by making this apple butter that Julianne's working on today, and it's such a simple process. It's like everything goes in the crock pot. The hard work is, the, is on the front end where you're doing what Julianne's doing right now, and we usually swap, so we'll take turns helping each other do different things. Um, Tabitha wants to come help, you know, peel and, and chop apples, but otherwise, Besides that step, it's super simple. And you put everything into the crock pot, spices, all the good stuff, and then you just let it go and thicken and reduce. And it's just, it's, it's just time. It's one of those things that take, take time. Okay, now I'm gonna let these go for about 12-ish hours and I'm gonna stir them occasionally. I know there's rules when it comes to crock pots and canning. But, but we don't listen. But we break no. up. <laughs> No, we do listen. We do listen to the important parts, but some of the non-important issues, we just, we chuck these bad boys as full as we can get them. Some things I love to keep in the root cellar through the winter is that apple butter, and I think Julianne probably eats it the most. She loves putting it on the homemade sourdough cinnamon raisin bagels, which we keep in the freezer, you know, when we're doing that stuff. Apple butter is just warm and cozy to open up, you know, on a cold day. Applesauce is so homey and make for such easy meals. So when you're putting in the front end work with all this apple stuff, you get to reap the benefits of that when obviously apples are not in season anymore and everything's expensive and you don't feel like going to the store you can just open up your canned applesauce and it's really easy so we do the apple butter we do applesauce we have frozen apples before where you slice them and you toss them in some lemon juice and put them on parchment and freeze them and then bag them super convenient if you have freezer space we are always always, always, always short on freezer space here at our house. So I'm always brainstorming ways and ideas on how to store food without using the freezers. We use the freezers mostly for meat. And that's even with canning up all of our chicken, but like between beef and the lamb that we have, we prefer to have those meats frozen if, if possible. We do can up some of it. So I need that freezer space, but you can absolutely freeze apples and they totally work and you can use them in a recipe. Also, this guy, Come here, come here, this guy loves, what do you love doing with the apples? Let's see if you... Well, yes, you like doing that, but you like juicing them too. Oh, yeah. You like making that fresh apple juice? It's so good, huh? When we have apple, apples like this, we take advantage, and that's when the apple crisp comes out, the apple crepe cake, the apple pies. But that's why if you don't want to make all that right when you have a stock of apples, you can absolutely freeze those, go through the process. Watch our video, we'll link it below. Um, on, on how to put up apples, all the different ways that we like to put up apples. Um, it's simple, all it is is time, a little bit of sweat equity, and you have amazing food put away um, for all sorts of occasions. And you just can't beat the smell that is going on in your house when you're making like the apple butter, it's so good. So anyway, if you have an opportunity to go apple picking or find a great price or great deal on apples, these are easy ways that anyone can use to put up stuff so that they have apples all through the year. mozzarella and ham and Julianne is cutting up some of her new creation of bar soap which is pumpkin spice right yes and it actually has some of the pumpkin in it that we grew last year which is so which fun, is so fun. So cool. also available on the website but oh my goodness it smells so good I can't wait to use it like I want to eat it <laughs> but it's so, so Julianne showed some interest a few years ago in making uh, learning how to make soap for my mom who makes it um, and she used to always provide us with homemade soap, which was such a blessing for those years where like the kids were too little and it maybe would not have been the best wise, wisest decision to be making soap at home. But as everyone has gotten older, I don't have little toddlers running around. I don't have to worry about them touching things that they shouldn't or breathing in things that they shouldn't because it is a science experiment, right? I mean, yeah, just you, a little bit. you have to use wisdom 
and proper protection when you're making soap uh, so that you don't get burned or have any issues with that. Um, and so Julianne enjoys this. She tends to make, she goes in, in waves where she makes a bunch of soap and then obviously it has to cure and set up. And she wanted to make sure she had this beautiful soap. Yeah, I made a bunch of batches of this uh, kind of soap. Uh, I've been making a few, so this is like my second or third batch. And then I'll have it available on our website then. Right, When Soon. the ball rolls around. These have to cure it for, is it 21? Uh, just under a month. Okay, just under a month. So these ha these have like two-ish weeks to go. Okay, because they've already been sitting yeah, for a little while hardening up. So anyway, these are so fun. It's so fun to experiment. I know it's probably frustrating when things don't turn out quite as expected, but these are gorgeous. And with the spices on top, they're just perfect. And again, between the, <laughs> between I'm the happy with my soap. I'm between the well. soap and the apple butter, my house smells so much like fall. It's so fun. So she's going to finish up cutting up this soap. I'm going to make up a batch of apple cider vinegar. Actually, probably eight jars of apple cider vinegar to get that set like since, we're, since we're doing everything. Well, and it'll be less than four gallons after we strain oh, yeah. it. It might be 50%. It might be two gallons by the time it's all said and done. So we're going to make up eight jars of apple cider vinegar. Since we have all those scraps, we've got to, it, instead of anything going to waste, we're going to go ahead and make sure we have that ready to go and start brewing so that we can have that all through the winter. I think because of all things apples, we're going to make apple crepe cake for dinner. Yes. Yeah, it's a good day. It's we're so getting, good. <laughs> getting a lot done. All right, let's keep doing this. Okay, it's been a very fun, busy day. We even fit in the dentist, which wasn't so much fun, but we're thankful for them. So we did that, and now it's time to whip together some dinner. And because we have apples, 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 we're gonna make one of our favorites, our apple crepe cake. So I think Jesse is already in the other, yep, yeah, he's in the other room helping me. This is like his job, he loves this. Whoa, whoa, whoa job hazard. So Jesse's gonna help me and we are going to whip together this quick, easy dinner. And then it's just time to get cleaned up, clean up the kitchen, rest, hang out. Yeah, it's been a good day. And again, my house smells like the amazing aroma of apple butter, it smells so good. So anyway, let's get dinner started and it's been a good day. Batter, check. Jesse helped me. Apples, check. I did most of it. Oh, now that now that's how they make it. Oh. You remember? It's been a little while since we've made this, huh? All right, now in the oven, 20 to 30 minutes, Mom. and we're done. I'm chopping up some strawberries to go on the top of the apple crepe cake. It's the best. Are you done t talking to me? <laughs> Jesse's behind the camera. So we like, along with the apple crepe cake, of course it has apples in it, but the kids really like some powdered sugar on top and some strawberries mm -hmm. or blueberries. And today we're gonna do strawberries. So 